you bring up such a great point before we get into the specifics mm -hmm. of the hardware store, like the, the Bitcoiners that I'm seeing come down here, like everybody really wants to contribute and make things better. Mm -hmm. And like making money is like secondary. Like, yeah, we want to make some money where we bought Bitcoin, you know, like, but it's not like the crypto people that just want to get some NFT and buy a Lamborghini or whatever. Like everybody here is like, how do we contribute to El Salvador and the Bitcoin community globally, but like this being the epicenter and this is, and this is setting the, the, the roadmap for other countries to do this. And it's really fat. Like you say, I've met so many just like really sharp, really interesting people who were like bringing at the, at the, at the Bitcoin beach meetup on Friday, you know, Chimbera and, you know, there was a bunch of people there, uh, of course. And I, I, he asked me to speak and some other people and then guys were coming up talking to me and this guy, it's really a cool idea about changing voting and elect and just like, I mean, stuff I don't even like consider, but you're like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Because I think one of the things that get people into Bitcoin is we all sort of realize things are broken financially, politically, socially, whatever. And, you know, maybe we debate on this, that, and the other thing, you know, right, left, whatever. But we all agree Bitcoin can solve like almost, if not all of these problems. And so it is attracting all of these people who are like, man, and, and uh, you know, I don't come from the finance world, I come from the entertainment industry, but I'm just like, there's similar gatekeepers and and corruption and censorship in Hollywood that sh sh didn't used to be that, you know, like, and it's like, I want to do more. I want to contribute. I want to, I want to help. So it, 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 and when you meet other people in that, that headspace, it is really exciting. Like you say, the expat, I've been to other, I'm a surfer. I've been to all these different places. I meet all these, you know, expat communities kind of are similar in certain instances, but then the Bitcoin expat community is like a different yeah. thing in a really cool way. Yeah. And you know, going back to the point, I think the incentive structure has been skewed incorrectly. Mm -hmm. And so it makes people do things that are not maybe aligned with, you know, not aligned with at least the way that I, I think. And so with the Bitcoin community, like going and, and, you know, learning about, I, I'm going to give a huge shout out to what John and the, my first Bitcoin team have done. Um, learning about how, what money is, I think that's that incentive structure and what fiat currency is when you realize what its weaknesses are, or, you know, it, it's, the game is not broken. The game was meant to be that way. It's broken for us. It's broken for us. It's correct. working perfectly for the ruling elites. Correct. Like. Correct. That's, that, that's how it was meant to be. Mm -hmm. And so you learn about money and then here comes this tool. So first you need to learn about, about money, the incentive, the incentive structure, how that's worked oh, since, you know, the 1970s, let's say after the, after the dollar was no longer backed by gold. And then here comes this thing, Bitcoin, and here are its characteristics, here are its properties. This is what it can do. And it pretty much fills in all the weaknesses, all the holes. So now you have people who are wanting to, who see, see the problem, know how to solve it, and are just coming down here into the land of the place where thanks to, you know, to, to the president, we're able to actually try these things out. We're able to, to find solutions to these problems. Now, it's, it's not going to have its road bumps. We're going to find, we're going to have road bumps sure. along the way, but it's, they're not going to stop you. They're not going to gatekeep you like they do in other places. And I think that's very important where I feel supported that I am going to be, if I have the right incentive structure, then we're, there's going to be a group of people that are going to support you, that believe in you and want you to succeed. Yeah. Whereas in other places, I, I never felt that, right? And, and I think that's, that's common. Well, that's the, it's the, yeah, it's the competitive thing of like, and that, like you say, it, it, it creates an environment where you might have to like bail on your own values of like, I need to make a bunch of money. If it screws you over, Hey, sorry, man, yeah, I'm watching out for myself. I'm sorry. I got to mm -hmm. do this. And it's, it, that's, a, that's like a horrible place to live where mm -hmm. it's like, no, this way 
I want to benefit. I, we both benefit together and everyone benefits. That isn't that the best way to yeah. do anything? Yeah. Like, um, so, uh, which is, which I think is why when you come down here and you see the, everyone's like positive and hopeful. And when you come from like Canada or the U S or whatever, and we're, especially now the U S is really like, I talked to my friends back there and they're just like, Oh, blah, 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 blah. it's like gnarly. And here everyone's like, yeah, let's do it. Let's go for it. Let's go. I mean, you go to these and, and again, those Bitcoin meetups in this country are, and I've been to meetups in LA and other cities and it's cool. And it's cool to connect with your Bitcoin community, wherever you are. And if you don't yeah. have a Bitcoin meetup, set one up, but here it's another level because, and again, there was on Friday, and I've been to that that Bitcoin Beach one several times. It's a really cool location, and I see some familiar faces. And there's always a, there's a couple of people brand spanking new, mm -hmm. don't know much about Bitcoin, and their orange pill, the orange light, and they're just like, "This country's amazing," and you're like, "Yeah, dude." Um, which I think is kind of help part of the motivation. Like you say, there's nobody stopping, blocking you, going, mm, there's not all this like uh, interference. Yeah. 